Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I want to tell you about Yandex. Yandex is being described as like the Google of Russia. They operate a uh, pretty popular search engine over there, and they're looking to get into the market, not necessarily the uh, American market, but just the market in their area and areas that they can get a foothold in. The same way that Google has in the United States and around the world, by having their own app store, having their own unique uh, Android user interface that manufacturers can put on their devices and um, for free and just give Yandex a licensing fee for that. But um, right now, if no matter where you are, you can download and install the Yandex store on your Android device and just you know take a look at it and see what it is that they have to offer. And that's what I want to show today, as well as the Yandex shell, which is the uh, 3D uh, Android home screen replacement that the company is hoping to get on uh, some various phones. So this is the Yandex store, and as you can see, it um, kind of looks similar to both Google Play and the uh, Amazon App Store as far as the color scheme and just this grid format goes. And while this is, uh, again, it is a third-party app store, um, it looks still looks very similar, as you can see when you go down as to what the Amazon App Store looks like. And uh, some very uh, popular apps are on here, apps that you would expect, such as you just saw SoundHound. And here's the official Twitter application as well. Uh, if you want to use this store, uh, you don't have to provide any kind of payment information, just a general sign-up process with your name, uh, your username that you want, a password that you want. You don't even have to supply an email address if, if you don't want to. And um, if we can just go through some of the games that they have, uh, we can go to top games and see what's currently available. Of course, Angry Birds is going to be at the top of the list, followed by Angry Birds Star Wars, Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds Seasons, and everything like that. Uh, but through browsing this store, I've noticed that there isn't a whole lot of... Uh, it's not a whole lot of good games, I would say. A lot of these things are just uh, never heard of, and, and a lot of things here that are in Russian that I cannot pronounce, and because uh, this is supposed to be a, a Russian app store, but it does have English, obviously. But um, since, it's, since it's pretty new, there's not a lot of reviews for some of the games in here, and uh, you're most likely not going to find some of your more popular games. Let's say if I were to search for Dead Trigger, for example, which is... Um, you know, always finding itself on all kinds of different Android devices and things like that, because Madfinger is very open about that kind of thing. And we can search and search, and nothing's nothing's going to come up. So if you're if you if you're looking for some uh, maybe top of the line, really popular games, probably not going to find it here on Yandex. Uh, I couldn't even find the Facebook app uh, in this store. But uh, whoops. Let's go back to it for a second because we accidentally left Yandex. But we can see some of the more popular apps that are on here. The very first app, of course, being the Yandex Shell, which is the UI that I'll show in just a minute. And if anything ever loads up, I can show you what else, uh, what else the store has to offer. Okay, here we go. So the very first top app is the Yandex Shell, followed by Skype. And... Um, as I said, since they're like the Google of Russia, you can see like there's Yandex Maps right there, Yandex Navigator, Yandex Weathers over there. You know, they kind of do their own big thing. <clears throat> and we also have TuneIn Radio, Fruit Ninja, some other Yandex apps. Uh, so it's definitely not something that I would say um, to replace or in some regards even put alongside the Amazon App Store or Google Play here in the United States since the, since the selection is uh, so much broader and it's more things that's relevant to us in this country but Yandex does have about 50,000 apps available right now and of course that number is going to grow so let's leave out of here and let's check out the Yandex shell so this is a uh, Android uh, home screen replacement app and this is um, untouched this is exactly how it's going to look if you download it from the Yandex store if you try to download this from Google Play it will tell you that it's not available in your country but if you can find an APK somewhere um, you can get it on your device that way or you can just simply go to the Yandex store and download it from there you won't have to worry about any kind of country restrictions so anyway this is the UI here and it has a, a, a 3D uh, kind of grid interface. You see me swiping through here and it's kind of like a cube as you go through. And in my experience I found this UI to be uh, very smooth, very pleasantly smooth. And we can go down here into the uh, app drawer here 
and uh, it looks kind of similar to what's on stock Android but there are differences you know you can scroll through here there's not the same kind of transition that you would see in the uh, in the stock Android uh, launcher but uh, one thing about it that is different is you can see uh, the little home uh, icon that's right above some apps if you were to touch on that it'll take you exactly to the place where uh, where it is located on your on your home screen if it is on your home screen another thing that you can do is if you tap this middle icon right here or just this little grid thing right here you can scroll it around and it shows all the home screens uh, that you currently have open um, and again these are Russian widgets so you know it really doesn't make sense to me but you can still decide to get rid of them if you want uh, but traditionally the long press to remove for some reason doesn't work with these uh, widgets but if you had your own widget I'll show you an example of that you can um, long press on this and basically I believe over here is the uh, different widgets that you can choose that are already available on your device so once that pops up if I were to say I want a small flipboard widget I just click on that the flipboard widget will come up and I can long press on that and take it down into the trash at the very bottom here but if I were to try to do the same thing like uh, the Yandex search bar or something like that it just won't work so one of the ways to get rid of that is to just go into this tap this uh, this three grid icon thing here and then you can you can move this around so I can I can have it switch places like this with other widgets other home screens or if I don't want it if I don't want any of them I can just drag it down here and it'll just kinda go into this bottom row and just totally get rid of it I can do that with here I can just swipe it down get rid of them and you can just always go I have no idea what that means you can just always just go right back flip it around twisty and all that stuff it's really just a lot of uh, it's really fancy you know uh, not necessarily uh, necessary uh, but it does move pretty smooth at least on the Nexus 7 uh, lower end devices you know I can't attest for that but for what it is you know it seems to be a pretty decent launcher you don't have to keep all of these widgets if you don't want you know you can just substitute things that you uh, believe you're going to use so oops let's go back into it so if I were to go into this and simply swipe this down and away and say I only wanted this many home screens you know, then it's very easy for me to uh, let's move around here look at all the different other um, home screens that you can have and I can just move this one up there then I say like alright well this is the one that I want let me go back and now I'm going to put say the the dash clock widget which is very popular and very awesome if that's the thing that I want to put on my home screen I can totally do that and I'll say okay and then there's my dash clock widget and you can also just like with the traditional Android interface if I can get this thing to work we can move it and we can also resize it so it's like you have to long press it longer than, than at least what I'm used to but you can take this and you can drag it and it will extend you know just like that move it horizontally vertically you know just to extend it you know kinda like that if you want and then you can just get rid of all of this other stuff that you may not want to put on there and just replace it with your own widgets but just know that if you want to go into the options and you know things like that um, <laughs> it's all Russian so if you can deal with that and you just want the pretty animations then you know go for it um, but if not you can just stick to the traditional Android launcher or possibly another launcher that you may like but I thought the launcher was pretty neat and I just wanted to show you guys what Yandex was about. I, you know, This isn't going to be something that takes over the US or anything like that but uh, as an alternative app store for the Android ecosystem uh, and also for uh, a new uh, home screen uh, application that you can put on your devices it may be something that you might want to check out if you're looking for something a little bit different or if you're just really into Russia.
whichever one is your case that's totally fine so that's all i have to show for you today so until next time i'm jeremy and i'll see you later